Um, so, without further ado, I'll give you a, a brief uh, look at uh, what changes there are. I don't know whether you can still hear me, but there we go. Uh, updates. It was uh, 14.03 UK GMT, 1st of November. Um, ESP fixed. So you can now uh, see and uh, drag objects that are underwater. Um, we covered most of the ESP fixes in the previous video. Uh, XML as well. This uh, video will be concentrating on the object builder. Um, as you can see there, the uh, lists are the object build double click to spawn uh, either in the screen or on the left hand list. Uh, when you select an object, uh, it will have a blue bounding box around it, right hand column of the screen. You can pick and select one or multiple items in the right hand screen, uh, items that are uh, have been placed out on the on the map uh, by holding down the left control and clicking each one individually. You can actually pick more than one. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, go into a free cam mode, um, look at the area you're concentrated on, hold down your right mouse and drag over the objects and they will all be selected for you. So that's an option as well, so you don't have to do the control thing. This here is now possible to spawn an object while having one or many selected. Double click on list or world. And that one, I, I'm going to have to show you how that looks. Um, you can now delete all the ob uh, objects or multiple objects in the right hand list once selected. Uh, you'll, as it says here, you'll get a confirmation if you want to delete them, and uh, it's quite straightforward. And um, when you deselect things, you don't need to double press any buttons. Um, deselecting is uh, a, a kind of. Uh, it's up to you how you do it, really. But we'll we'll go into that now. So uh, let's turn off the uh, notepad, and we'll go from there. So let's uh, bring up our interface. Uh, ignore my little. I uh, I made it into uh, a permanent thing back in. So let's uh, bring up the um, object builder. Now contain the test. Ignore that. Now I need to get rid of that. That was uh, an interesting little thing I did earlier and I'll repeat it again at the end of the video. Uh, we we'll have to go through this quite quickly because otherwise it'll become boring. So we create a new building set. Uh, test set. I'm going to call it test set as well. Why not? Uh, activate it so you don't have to worry about it later. Should be okay. Select your building set. And now we're ready to build. I'll leave, minimize that out of the way so you've got a little bit more on there. Uh, we're going to find a container. I love containers. Uh, we select the first one. Enable preview. Scroll down, scroll up. We want to snap to terrain at the moment because we're putting it down first. So snap to terrain, enable preview, ignore the rest at the moment. So you can dump, you can remember, uh, as in the old times, the old times, <laughs> uh, before any of the recent changes, wherever your mouse was on the screen was where the object appeared. So that's been brought back. So you've got the two options now. Double click on the item, fold it, or as long as you've got object builder open, you can double click in the world to spawn it. Each, uh, the choice is yours which one you use. I much prefer the double click because it allows you to go into free cam mode. Go up above the object you're placing and literally with a double click I can double click just building
and it gets quite fun. So we'll come down here, we'll go out here, sweet, and it's a quick mill. It's just a, a temporary, but with the older method, you have to move your mouse, make sure your mouse is on top of each one time. So you could you could do this again, and we'll do it by double clicking on this. Choice is yours how you do it. You can get multiples. Um, it's up to you. Whichever one you want. Um, and uh, you'll, you'll get. So, now, we've got all these things. And a single click on, on uh, the little box deselects it. Let's say it's uh, selected up there. You'll find it in the thing. The blue box, bounding box, is very faint, so you'll have to uh, you'll have to work with it. You can double click on it, double click on here, or not click on it. We'll remove it. Let's put one over there for a moment. So double clicking spawns the stuff on the screen. Remember that. Hold down right mouse, drag over it. The item will be. Uh, in bounding boxes selected. Press your delete key. You'll get the warning. The ones that will be selected, the ones in the list on the right, delete. And they're gone. That is um, how you please it. Your op alternative option is to select each one by clicking in the box. Hold down your left control and click each one or the ones you want to remove. Then press delete and they will be removed. I much prefer hold down right mouse and drag over and hit the delete button. It's much quicker to destroy a whole set than it is to check. Uh, it's up to you. Depends on uh, your dexterity uh, and how you perceive things, how you do things. And that's that. That's. Uh, most of the changes, let's go back to our list of items um, and see what we need.